Hi folks, I complained about my truck camper, about it not being built right, and I built it, so I fixed it. And I've already shown you that I redid the counter, but I also had I didn't have enough power, so I just finished my solar install. And here it is. It's 200 watts up on top of my truck. Now back here in the back I've got my refrigerator but I've already shown you that. And there's my new counter. But I've got a line from the refrigerator running towards the front of the truck. And here's my little power station. I can turn on lights. I can turn off lights. I think I'll put a fan on there and then there's my fridge. I got my fridge turned on right now. And right now it's showing I've got 13.1 volts. That's what this charge controller says right here. And then this battery box down here says 13.2. Now, my solar comes in through the roof and runs along here. And I've got it very well sealed. Comes in, jumps over that, goes through a little circuit breaker thing there. That's mainly just so I can turn the solar on and off. Goes through the charge controller goes down to this battery box through one of these here Anderson connectors and I've got a fuse it's a 20 amp fuse that's 20 amp charge controller so the manufacturer says you don't have to have a fuse but if you're going to we recommend a 20 amp between the charge controller and the battery so I've got that and then down in this here box it has a, a couple of USB outlets and a a cigarette lighter outlet but I'm just I hooked up to that hook that up to here because I've got the same thing up here and I've got now 200 watts of solar right above me right up there and I've got a 100 amp hour lipo 4 or whatever kind of lithium battery the thing is. It's not one of those battle-born ones, which they seem like good ones, but they're just more than I could afford. I didn't get the cheapest one, though. I, I got a, what I believe to be a pretty good battery. Um, so I, I think I've got all sorts of power now. Um, the real test will be I want to do an overnight when it's cold, running my electric blanket. Now, uh, I'm in the shade right now, but I'm thinking that this solar panel, these, this 200 watts of solar panel should keep this battery charged up unless I'm hitting it really hard or it's cloudy for a while at, at a time. So, I think I've got all the power I will need. Uh, I'm sure I can charge my laptop with it. I'm running the refrigerator and I... The voltage goes down to 12.8 according to this little meter whenever the refrigerator kicks on, but it'll go right back to 13 again as soon as the refrigerator turns off. Um, I haven't hooked up an electric blanket yet, but I have ran that electric blanket on a little Jackery 300 and it'll last four to six hours. Um, and I'm figuring this hundred, that's only, the little Jackery is what, 20 amp hours maybe, the 300. Um, this 100 amp hour, that ought to give me plenty of power to make it through the night. Anyway, so yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy so far. And there we are, right back to 13 volts again once the refrigerator turns off.